A week after from Election Day, candidates in the runoff traveling all around the state. Herschel Walker was in Greensboro today in Greene County. Senator Raphael Warnock, he talked in Fort Valley, and that's where Ashlyn Webb went this afternoon. She joins us in studio with an update on what each of the candidates are doing and saying on the campaign trail. Yes, it's clear these campaigns are working hard, but now the race is about whether their supporters will turn out and push them through the finish line to win. Get out and vote and tell 10 of your friends to get out and vote. If you don't have any friends, make some friends and tell them to get out and vote. If you stand with me for the next seven days, I'll stand up for you for the next six years. I think that's a pretty good deal. The message from both candidates Tuesday and throughout the campaign, get out the vote and tell your friends to vote. Raphael Warnock made his third college visit of the week, speaking to a small group of students at Fort Valley State University. He never mentioned his opponent, instead highlighting issues affecting college-age voters, like funding for historically black colleges and President Biden's student debt relief. $10,000 is not enough. I pushed him and he decided to do $20,000 for folks who are Pell Grant eligible. Having an HBCU graduate in the room makes a difference. Meanwhile, Herschel Walker has concentrated on campaigning in North Georgia for much of the runoff, including Tuesday when he spoke to a crowd in Greene County. He talked about energy independence, critical race theory, supporting police, and opposing abortion. But his most consistent theme, making the incumbent the issue. And he's lying to you telling you that this is a new norm. He's lying to you telling you that everything is okay. No, it's not. He's the reason that crime is the way it is. So why are we seeing Warnock more in metro Atlanta and parts of central Georgia while Walker's in north Georgia? Remember, this race is all about turnout. So see these deep red counties in the north part of Georgia? Some of them voted 80 to 90 percent for Walker this month. Walker's there because he needs these supporters to turn out. In the metro Atlanta area, UGA political science professor Charles Bullock says Republicans tried to run up those vote totals in Hall, Cherokee and Forsyth counties. Those counties are population dense and Republican. Republican. Now, Central and South Georgia have fewer voters, so they're not seeing the candidates as often. As for Warnock, he's been in these metro Atlanta area counties like Fulton, DeKalb, Gwinnett. The same idea. It's population dense, heavily Democrat. So Warnock has also been on college campuses a lot. Bullock says the younger the voter, the more likely they'll vote Democrat. But they're also less likely to turn out, so that's why Warnock is working to mobilize them. Frank, Lori, back to you. Thank you, Ashlyn. Next Tuesday night, we're following the runoff races closely from Milledgeville City Council race to the Macon Water Authority seat and, of course, the race for who represents Georgia in the U.S. Senate. Molly Jett will report from Senator Raphael Warnock's camp, while Anthony Montalto reports from Herschel Walker's. We'll also have analysis. Ashlyn will use our election tracker to see where the votes come from in Georgia and where they're coming from. And UGA political science professor Dr. Charles Bullock will be in studio with us, bringing context to the trends that we see next Tuesday. Join us Tuesday, December 6th. That's a week from today, starting at 5 p.m. on 13 WMAZ, your source for election results.